Hi everyone, I'm Miss Larson and we are going to make a cheesy broccoli rice casserole tonight. So before we get started, I need everyone to preheat their oven to 375 degrees and then we're gonna get started. I dropped off some ingredients to you. We've got rice, um, I gave you all white rice. I have brown rice in my house, so that's what I'm gonna be using. We have a bag of frozen broccoli. We also have cheese, which I need to get out. And then we have our cream of chicken soup. So what we need to do first is because it takes a little bit of time. If you have a rice cooker, you can ask uh, whoever is in your household to help you with the rice cooker. But for those of you who don't, we're gonna do it on the stove top. So when you cook rice, you wanna do um, double the rice for the liquid. So this recipe calls for one cup of rice. So I'm gonna do one cup of rice and two cups of water. Before I do that, what I'm gonna do is pour in here, okay. We always want to rinse our rice because rice is kind of, um, you'll notice especially on the white rice, the water comes out really dingy, so we wanna give it a rinse. So I'm rinsing it right in this pot that I'm cooking it in. And really, you're just gonna fill it with water, swirl it around, get it nice and clean. And then you're going to, if you have a strainer, great. I just usually tip mine and cover it with my hand. Um, but you'll be able to see kind of how murky that water is. So I'm gonna tip mine. Now I'm gonna wipe the side of my cooking pot and I'm gonna get double the water. So there's one cup of water going in. And two cups of water. And one thing that I like to do with rice is I like to add a little bit of butter for flavor. Um, so I'm gonna do one tablespoon of butter in there and it's just gonna melt right in there and gives it a little more flavor. So when we cook this, you can always um, follow the instructions on your bag. Um, there's always instructions on the bag of rice. So it's gonna tell you how long you wanna cook it, 35 to 45 minutes. We're gonna fast forward through this process since we're on a recording today. If you're on a rice cooker, it's gonna be faster than that. Um, the big thing when we're cooking rice, when we do turn this on, because we want to um, bring it to a boil, but when it starts boiling, we wanna lower that heat. We don't want it to stay at a boiling temperature. So we, we do want to jack it up to an eight or a nine. We're going to cover it. And the other thing with rice is that you don't want to lift the lid while it's cooking because rice cooks with the water. It absorbs the water, but it also cooks with steam. And so if we lift the lid, all that steam is going to go out and it's going to take longer to cook. So judging by our bag, um, it says 35 to 45 minutes, but you want to check it. And what you're going to look for is to see if all of the water has been evaporated in there. It's been sucked up into the, um, into the rice and that's what makes it fluffy. So we're gonna start there and then we can get our other steps going. Our next step is broccoli. So we are actually going to pour this entire bag of broccoli into a bowl. And there are a couple ways that you can thaw out your broccoli. Um, you can cook it in a bowl in the microwave. If you have a steamer, some people have a little steamer basket that you put in a bigger pot and then it steams up and cooks it. What I'm gonna do is just put a little water in here. Not a lot, but some. And I'm gonna grab a couple paper towels. I'm gonna wet them because we're putting them into the microwave. We don't wanna put dry paper towels in the microwave. And this is gonna make kind of its own little steamer situation in here by covering this bowl. And then we just wanna thaw out this broccoli. I'm gonna pop it in there for about three minutes and we'll wait for that to be done. 
remember we need to check back to our broccoli to see when the water's boiling because when it boils we're going to put it down to a simmer we're going to cut back we're not going to let it just boil the whole time so what i need next is a spray so that my cheese and all the good stuff doesn't get stuck to my dish the dish that you need uh, this is not going to, it's going to be a thin layer once we put it all in here. So if you have half of one of these, like a nine by nine or an eight by eight, that's fine too. It'll just be taller. Uh, mine is a nine by 13. So it's going to be kind of a thin layer once we pour everything out. Um, so I'm going to spray into my dish so that nothing sticks. You can use, um, if you don't have spray, you can use oil and rub it around with a paper towel. Um, you can also use butter to line this, you just wanna put something down so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna do this over my sink. And there we go. There's that. Once that is done, we need to open our cream of chicken. And with this, um, you can use milk or you can use water. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna use water because I don't have milk. We're not big milk drinkers here. Um, so we're gonna dump this into a bowl and then we are going to fill this with half to three fourths of water or milk, not all the way, because that might be too runny. And then we're gonna mix it. I'll show you when we get to that part. Um, and that's what's going to be kind of our soupy, um, chicken texture in our casserole. So we can go right here. This is very gloopy stuff. Be careful with this lid when you're taking it off. Some people like to leave it on, some people don't. Just be super careful that you don't cut yourself. So what I am going to do next is just grab something to scoop out what's left in here because there ends up being kind of a lot left in the side of the can. See? grab just a little whisk and we're gonna stir this up you want to be careful because it's kind of chunky and you don't want to send it flying everywhere because that sometimes happens I know I've done that millions of times See how it's more of a soupy consistency now, not so much um, the thick chunkiness that it was before. So that's a good consistency right there. So we're over there. Checking my rice, it's not boiling yet. It's hard to see because this gets really steamy. You'll be able to see, um, but you can ask an adult near you um, if it's boiling or not, they'll be able to help you out. check on my broccoli. When you do check your broccoli, if you were one who cooked it with um, in the microwave, you want to grab a towel or something that's going to let you scoop it out of there without burning your fingers because those bowls get hot when you're using glass. If you don't have glass, that's okay. So my broccoli is nice and thawed on the top. However, the bottom, you'll be able to feel it with your spoon. It's still kind of frozen. So what we're gonna do is give it a nice big stir, mix it all up, try and break up some of those frozen chunks. I don't know if you hear that. Some of those are the frozen icy chunks. 
We're going to stir it back around. And we're going to cover it again. We're going to put it in there for two more minutes. So we did three the first time. Now we're going to go two this time. Let's see what that gets us. boiling in there. While we're waiting, we can grab out our salt and pepper. So we're going to need those. I, I did get my cheese. I already forgot. One thing I will say you're using the other side of your stove top if you have a flat top like here um, I would suggest making sure you don't accidentally hit any of the knobs that turn on the burners the other burners uh, I've done that before and what that can do is make this either melt or shatter if you're using plastic it'll melt um, but when glass gets hot when it goes from cool to hot very quickly it can shatter or vice versa hot to cold very quickly so just want to be careful um, if you are using your stove top as a surface. About 36 more seconds on my broccoli. starting to see bubbles on my lid. The condensation is really building up and I'll be able to see through that here shortly. So I think we're on our way to boiling. Okay, let's remember our towel or oven mitts or whatever you have before we grab this bowl out. Because we do not want to burn ourselves. So I'm gonna grab my slotted spoon. I don't think I mentioned that before. We're gonna use this simply because when we go to scoop it, it's gonna drain that water out for us. And this is nice and steamy at this point, so that is a good thing. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna set this aside, get it out of our way for a little bit. And our last step is to wait for the rice to come to a boil, which you can tell that it's bubbling under there. Um, let's see if I can show you. Maybe not. See how there's bubbles forming on the lid? And you can see underneath that it's definitely boiling in there. So. We're moving in the right direction. So now that I see that, I am going to turn this down to a simmer. So um, if your knob has like a one or a two or a three, um, you'll wanna be maybe around a two or a one, but you can also see the steam is escaping. So that's why we don't wanna lift the lid because if we lift the lid, that's going to cause that to um, lose all that, that hot air, the steam that's helping cook the rice. So I've turned my burner down to low and I'm gonna leave it there. And we're gonna check back in probably mm, 25 more minutes and see where we're at with the rice. You do wanna check it often without lifting the lid um, because it can, so your rice might evaporate more quickly than others. So you don't wanna wait the full 45 minutes and just set a timer and walk away. We wanna check it because if rice burns, it's gonna to stick to the bottom of our cooking pot and that smells bad. It's a pain in the butt to clean up. So we just wanna really make sure to watch our rice very, very carefully, okay? So we'll fast forward and come back to this in about 25. 
I want to show you all, this is what your rice should look like towards the end. So if you see, I shake it, it's still jiggling a little bit in the bottom of the dish and there's still, because you can see bubbles in there still, um, we're gonna let it go for just a few minutes longer. So that's kind of what it's gonna look like and it's bubbled up into the, the lid a little bit. But um, once it starts to look like that, you wanna watch it really, really closely because it's gonna be close to burning if we leave it too much longer. So when we see a little bit less movement from shaking it, that's when it'll be time. And you might wanna get the adult near you to um, give you a hand with this part if, you, if you're unsure. Okay, so I have taken my rice off the heat and I'm fluffing it. Um, typically you fluff with a fork, but I'm using this because I don't want to scratch my pan. Um, that's a big one. If you're using nonstick cookware, um, you don't want to use metal on it. So it's a good consistency right now. It could use a little bit more. If you're using a rice cooker, you'll notice it's a little bit drier, but you'll see there's no water in the bottom, right? It's absorbed it. Oh, my phone is steaming up. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna fluff that. I'm gonna set this on my spoon rest and we're gonna cover it back up and we're gonna let it just sit over here for a little while, okay? So now what we need to do is, I'm gonna try and prop this so that you can see what I'm doing. We need to take our dish that we sprayed already and in it we need to scoop our broccoli if you have a big strainer you can dump it in that but this works too just as much um, you just want to scoop 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 and you want less water in there so if you do have a big strainer I suggest putting it through there mine happens to be in the dishwasher so I'm gonna do it this way with my slotted spoon. Broccoli will go in first. The biggest thing is we want less water because the broccoli is still going to have water kind of seep out of it as it cooks. And we don't want it to be too, too runny. scoops. All right. So I've got that. You can spread it around. And then what I'm actually going to do for my next step, we want about 12 ounces of cheese, which is about a cup and a half. So we're going to open up our cheese. Oops, my cup is already out. Come over here. I'm going to scoop about a cup's worth. To start, and I'm just gonna sprinkle around everywhere. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do about half a cup more. And depending on your taste, if your family likes more cheese, you can do more. So there's that. My next step is I'm gonna take my rice that we just cooked and we are going to put the rice over the top of the cheese because it's gonna help the cheese get all melty. And we wanna kind of spread it around as you go. Fill in any of those holes that are there. This is what it looks like. So I've got some cheese in there in between the rice and the broccoli. So our next step, we are now going to take our cream of chicken that we mixed together earlier. We're gonna pour it over the top of the rice and you wanna spread it around. And now we look like this. Yum, yum. And our last step before we pop it into the oven 
is we are going to do salt and pepper. And you might want to ask whatever adult is in your household how much salt you want to put on. Um, different people need different amounts of salt. So the one thing about salt is that you can always add more if there's not enough afterwards. You're like, oh, this could use a little more salt. You can crack some more on there or sprinkle more. Um, but if you do too much in the beginning, you can't take it away. So be careful with the salt and the pepper. I do less pepper, but some pepper. Then what we're going to do is take a little bit more cheese and we're gonna use our hand this time. We're just gonna sprinkle across the top again. And that is what we look like now. You can see the pepper in there and the cheese. There we go. So our next step is we're gonna pop it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. And you wanna check it at the 10 minute mark. Um, if it looks good to you and it's bubbling, then you can pull it out. If it's not, then um, you'll leave it in for a couple more minutes, but you definitely wanna check it uh, periodically. So it's in the oven and we're gonna let that cook for a little bit of time, get the oven light on there, and then we'll check back. Okay, so we've got some nice bubbling going around the edges. I just wanted to show you what that might look like, so I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. Um, even though I opened my oven, I might need a little bit more time now. Okay, I just took this out of the oven. I ended up doing 375 for, I think it was roughly 18 minutes. I needed a little bit more time. So what you wanna do now I'm gonna stir up your beautiful creation um, because we want all the juice from the cream of chicken to mix with everything else. And if it seems a little soupy or a little wet, um, it will dissipate, it will get absorbed into the rice after it sits for just a little bit of time. But you can let it cool for a little while and then dig right in. And remember, if you need to add salt and pepper, um, Again, uh, if you didn't do a whole lot at the beginning, then you can do so once you serve it on your plate. Everybody can do it to their liking. And I'm gonna let this cool and then we will be digging in. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next week.